Eyewitness News reporter Pat Gallen is live at the present, which is a giant gift to Philadelphia. Hey, Pat, anything for us in there? <laughs> Jim and Trang, I, I got this whole thing for you. This giant Did present you all. for you. <laughs> it's beautiful. Every day I bring presents for you guys, don't I? Not every day. But this is pretty cool here in Love Park. The Christmas Village is alive. And this, as you mentioned, is called The Present. It's an art installation, and there's a charitable purpose behind it, which is the most important part of all this. This is Mark Wilkin. He's from Philly Parks and Rec. Good morning. Morning. All right, so let's talk about what we're standing in. This place is pretty cool. Yeah, we're in a 27-foot-tall present. Five miles of lights, 100,000 bulbs. Uh, it is quite a scene. Um, we are excited to unveil it uh, for Giving Tuesday. Um, we are um, at Love Park, and uh, it's not only a present, but it's also a great fundraiser for three amazing causes. Books for our Philadelphia Parks and Recreation kids, mm -hmm. Fair and Park Conservancy, and our parks, and Project Home to help the homeless. So, if people come through here, the idea is that you want them to take fun pictures, take some selfies, but also donate, and it's only five bucks. Yeah, definitely hit up Instagram at hashtag Love Park Present, and then please donate to one of these great causes. Uh, once you text uh, one of the three numbers, we'll give you one of these awesome gift tags. Write your name for whatever you want to be, and then you can hang your gift, uh, gift message on our wall. As I already did, Kyle, right over here, Pat Gallon, CBS3, for Love Park. Obviously, we had to shout out Love Park because it looks beautiful here for the Christmas Village. How does something like this come together? Is this a collaborative effort? Yeah, at Parks and Rec partnered with some great designers and fabricators, FK Production, and um, you know we just wanted to do something universal, something for everyone uh, to be in the spirit of the holidays, and we're excited to uh, uh, bring it together and have everyone come and enjoy it. And what's everyone think of it so far? Uh, we had a lot of Instagram yeah. traffic already. Uh, we're excited to see how everyone responds to it and comes out and enjoys it um, as part of Christmas Village and the City Holiday Fest. Talk about Christmas Village then as a whole. How many stores are in here? Like what's going on inside? 75 plus stores, uh, incredible gifts, um, food options, a new beer garden. Uh, you know, we're excited to see how everyone um, enjoys it this year, uh, come out and have a good time. And of course the love sign is here, which is the, uh, the coup de grace, if you will. Yeah, everyone please take a pic in front of our beautiful love park sign. Um, so proud to have this park uh, open again. and. Uh, you know, it's been a joy to see everyone enjoy this past season. Mark, gotta love it. Thanks for waking up early. Appreciate it. I know My it's pleasure. chilly out here, but it's the holidays. So that means you've got to give to Philly Parks, to Children's Books, or to help the homeless because that's what it's all about this time of year. Jim and Trang, get on down here right now. Take a photo, snap it, hashtag it, and then give back. That's I will do, be right? heading down there. I love the Christmas Village, oh, too. Yeah. You can always find some great gifts down there. Now Thank you, Patrick. So, so yeah. Instagrammable. Yeah, yeah. 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 a good cause. And <laughs> Good other Very things. Very Instagrammable. Yep. Yeah.